What's up guys, Chris from Closet Weave here and we're back on my closet to watch episode 8 of Oshi no Ko. So last week we actually got a recap episode and in that video I talked about uh, my experience with uh, suicide. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and check that out. But last time on Oshi no Ko, um, uh, Aqua saved Akane. Uh, it was a little team effort, you know, everyone in the cast was worried about her, but Aqua was able to stop her from jumping off that uh, little bridge to, into traffic. And then uh, the cast was just really uh, worried about her, and uh, Aqua came up with an idea to create a buzz uh, uh, for Akane by taking uh, clips and pictures from, from, the, from the show. Uh, that weren't used, that shows everyone being friendly with each other and uh, that that helped bring back, revitalize Akane's career and then she felt like uh, they did that all without her knowing so when she saw that, that Twitter post uh, show up she was really happy about it and then she found uh, uh, her way of trying to become uh, scene in the show. She she decided to come back to the show and work on it, uh, work with the rest of the cast, and she's going to work to become Aqua's uh, love interest in the show. And then she did her research, she asked Aqua what type of girl he likes, and he was just describing I. So then Akane being such a beast in, uh, being a beast at theatrical acting, uh, she, she did her research on I, came back, ended the episode, uh, with the stars in her eyes, so she looks like she leveled up and caught Aqua's attention. Um, so let's see how this turns out. Let's jump into episode 8 of Oshino Ko. First time. <laughs> She's top class. Dang, he sees I. <laughs> and then Kana said she's jealous of her, I think. <laughs> Too good. Dude, she's in it. Yep. She locked in on Aqua now. No, she's too good. <laughs> Time to investigate. <laughs> Ooh, aqua. Ooh. Oh, he's blushing. Oh, the cameras aren't even rolling for that one. Oh, or is it? Okay, never mind. <laughs> it was rolling. <laughs> She's over it. Mom, even she sees it. Ruby. Oh, lover. Yeah, that is kind of weird. 
What is she to you, Aqua? You getting jealous, Kana? <laughs> I think she is. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sounding like a date. Oh. <laughs> You're playing some baseball. <laughs> Catch. <laughs> nice try, nice try. Ooh, super close, kinda. <laughs> no, he just he just turns to Kana to to talk to stuff about. Hey, you getting better? Okay. あ、<笑><笑> Oh. Oh, it's her first time, Aqua. Nope, alright. Doesn't have feelings like that. Doesn't have those feelings towards Akane. Yeah, she's a she's a genius in in acting. She's too good. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, he's gonna use her, her, her knowledge of eye to try and trace the baby daddy. Pretty much figured out. Uh oh. How are you gonna use this to your advantage? Is is he gonna like take take it take it to the next level and become have a relationship with her? He's doing it! Yup, he's using her. Dang! Yeah. Yeah, little, yeah, little mastermind. Gotta use every possible tool you can. And Kana saw that. Yeah, oh, poor Kana. Oh. <laughs> Dang, man. Oh, yeah, Aqua, you still can get some information from the producer. You did the dating show. Hey, at least this this director camera guy is giving them giving the details. All right, give me a lead, old man.
Dang, you're gonna come after strawberry productions. <laughs> Scary. Oh, okay. Aqua smart man. <laughs> Making sure to read the contract and what's within limits. Oh, here it is. Here we go. Get some sushi. Oh, what are we? <laughs> What are we? I like it. I like it, Akane. Cut to the chase. Yeah, be up front. Oh, she can tell. Dang. Alright, just stay, stay, let's stay friends, you know, so he can still use you. <laughs> oh, oh, those two started dating. Oh, she said that it's over. Hey, y'all can, can still hang out. Y'all got each other's contact. Oh, Mem got information too? Uh oh. Recruiting out here, Aqua? There we go. The third member. I'm not joking. You can be an idol. <laughs> okay, man. Did not see this coming. <laughs> Alrighty, well, dating show officially over. Akane was doing her thing, uh, portraying I, and then Akane and Aqua ended up kissing at the end of the show, but Aqua made it clear that uh, their relationship is just going to be a work one for the time being. Um, but it looked like Yuki and her man uh, actually are going to start dating for real. And then Aqua, uh, it is still going to keep contact, close contact it seems like with Akane because it looks like she she knows a lot about Ai after doing her research on her so he, he has another tool to to use if he wants to find out um, where, where their baby daddy is <laughs> so or where his dad is and um, he has the sushi sushi dinner thing with the producer who owes him some information on Ai so that's another thing he can he can get some intel from and then he just asked them if she would like to join uh, the new Bikomachi so that came out of nowhere I was not expecting that and then uh, he he turns to Kana uh, when he needs to just talk to someone about uh, random things uh, and that was something Kana really really enjoyed and okay, yeah, she she she's 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 developing feelings for Aqua because she got jealous when she was watching the the episode, the final episode, and saw Aqua Aqua and Akane kiss. So, yep, things are moving along. Aqua has plenty of places to get information from with I. Uh, the new B Komachi is recruiting out here. Got a new member, it seems like. Um, See. So yeah. Can't wait to see what happens next. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.